Hello everyone. The book that we are reading today is Dory's Story. This book is written by This book is written by Bill Scollin and it's illustrated by Disney Storybook and Team. It is published by Random House, New York. So let's start reading. Dory is a little fish. She has trouble with her memory. What is memory? Memory is something that you remember for things that you have done before. Like say if it's the afternoon and then when you remember what you did in the morning, that's your memory helping you tell. So Dory does not remember how to get home. She's lost. She asks everyone she meets for help. No one knows where Dory lives. Now Dory becomes friends with Nemo and Marlin. They now all live together in a coral reef. One day, Dory remembers a place called the Jewel of Morrow Bay. Maybe her home is there. Dory crosses the ocean with Nemo and Marlin to find her home. She gets stuck in a plastic ring. Now Dory gets taken to the Jewel of Morrow Bay. It is an aquarium. Nemo and Marlin want to find Dory. A bird carries them to the aquarium. Dory meets an octopus. His name is Hank. He helps Dory figure out where her parents live. Dory finds a home, but her parents are gone. A crab says they went to the hospital. The pipes will take Dory to the hospital. Destiny is a whale shark. Bailey is a beluga. They show Dory the way. Nemo and Marlin find Dory in the pipe. They swim off together to find Dory's parents. Dory's parents are not at the fish hospital though. Dory falls down the drain. The drain drops her into the ocean. Dory is alone. She follows the shell path. It leads her to her parents. Nemo and Marlin are on a truck with the hospital fish. Dory will save them. Becky helps rescue Nemo and Marlin. Dory is still in the truck. Hank scares the truck driver away. They drive off to the pier into the ocean. The fish are happy to return to the sea. Destiny and Bailey join them. Dory's parents go back to the reef with Dory and her friends. They're all one big happy family. Hope you guys like this book. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.